Hello, this is Bruce again uh, with Sullivan Roof Cleaning. I uh, talk to you as a cedar shake or wood shake roof homeowner. And the subject on this video I want to talk about is cost. Uh, we get many, many requests for estimates. And the first thing, obviously, a homeowner is concerned about, well, what's it going to cost me to have my roof clean? And a lot of people will ask me, what's the average cost? Unfortunately, there is no average cost. And that being said, is because every roof is unique in itself. It has nothing to do with the size of the roof. It has to do with what's on the roof. What's the infestation? Do they have a lot of tree cover, which means they have a lot of moss and lichen? Do they not have a lot of tree cover, which means they have just brown rot fungi, which is that dark brown to black coloration you see on your roof, which is, by the way, the number one deteriorating infestation on a wood roof. And so when we go to price, it's, it's hard to give you an estimate over the phone. We haven't seen your roof. We know nothing about it to give you an average cost. I guess one of the best things for us in our particular area, and we have a network throughout the U.S. and even in Canada of people that use our process. There's different types of processes in, that are used. Some, uh, like our process, we don't get on the roof or we don't use any form of pressure and we use a solution that we developed ourselves. Then there's another process where they use a commercial solution, they have to walk on the roof and they have to use pressure. Well, I think we probably all understand that that's probably two things you shouldn't want to do on a wood roof is walk all over it and then use some type of pressure on them. But that's a story for another day. We're talking about cost. So for us, in our particular process, we have probably the lower range of cost. And for a homeowner, if you would go with 50 cents to a dollar a square foot, I think we'd be pretty safe in that range. Uh, I mean, I've had houses that are, you know, 6,000 square feet uh, that we charged the same for a roof that we cleaned that was 4,000 square feet because the 6,000 square foot roof had no moss, had no lichen, didn't take all the solution, didn't take all the labor and time that we needed to do it versus the 4,000 square foot roof had a lot of moss on it, a lot of lichen, actually took us longer to clean. And so you, you go, well, how come they were charged X amount of dollars and I was charged the same and they got a bigger roof and that's the reason. It has absolutely nothing to do with the size of your roof, it has to do with what's on the roof and what it is that we have to get out of those shingles so that we can open them up and take them back to their natural condition and extend the lifespan of them. So when it comes to cost, if you go about 50 cents to a dollar a square foot and when you figure square foot and you think of your roof and you say, well, I've got 3,000 square foot around my house. Yes, you do, but also factor the pitch in. That adds to the square footage of the roof, too. So in reality, it may be 3,600 square feet because of the pitch of the roof. Is it a 7, 12, 6, 12, 8, 12, 12, 12? All that's factored in, too. So when we talk square footage, keep that in mind. So what we have found that our service is, a, is around 5% of the replacement cost you can have your roof clean and it's going to extend it for an, on average anywhere from another 8 to 10 years because it's going to take that long for that infestations to come back in that's what it took originally to get started your roof looked beautiful when you put it on about 8 years later you started seeing things come on it if you're the original homeowner if not uh, you know of course that's the average so that's what will happen so when we talk about cost Let's consider 50 cents to a dollar a square foot. And we're talking for our local area here in Iowa and some of the surrounding states we go into, Minnesota, Nebraska, because of the tree cover and the climate and the ambient air temperatures and so forth and so on. So but for about 5% of replacement costs, we can clean it. And that's about the best I can do for cost. Uh, you'll find that we're at least probably a third cheaper than those that use other processes that get up on the roof and you know have to use pressure because it takes them a long time to do it and they use a different process and it's all in the process. Uh, I recommend you go to our videos, see how we actually do it. We, we use our site as an educational website 
If we can educate you, the homeowner, now you can make an informed decision. We let the process sell itself. We don't need to sell you on something you don't know anything about. We need to educate you on something you don't know anything about. And then do your research. Type in cedar shake roofs or wood shake roofs or any of that stuff into Google and do your research. But as to cost, that's about the best I can tell you for right now. I hope this has given you a little better understanding. Don't be afraid to ask myself or any one of our network people on my site throughout the country for a quote, and they'll be more than glad to give you a quote to have that roof clean and extend the life of it for many years to come. Thank you, and have a nice day.